two strands. Set, set us off. All righty. Welcome back to Son of a Boy Dad podcast. Today it is Wednesday, October 18th. Correct? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. God damn. All right. Uh, <laughs> the hell was that that threw me off yeah, why did you why were you guys doing that why do you always do the date he always do not need to do that that's how it started that's how it started every episode you couldn't hear that because it's how portnoy used to do the rundowns that's why i do it it's very derivative you're doing dave portnoy yeah yeah that's how i've started every single episode everybody will fall into a dave cadence at least once in their time i always say the dave when we're recording yeah you've been you've been doing dave for a while no way that's crazy your whole act is dave yeah that would be interesting. All of your jokes are Dave. You're just bagging on Smitty the entire time. I'm always bagging on Smitty. Wait, so how many seconds are we in? We are probably 30 seconds in. Is the audio still working? It sounds like we're having some technical problems. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Francis. You guys are coming in hot. Right. What's one coworker that you like? You don't have their phone number. Um, I don't have Frankie Borelli's phone number. Neither do I. I do. Damn. Why do you have it up oh, from four flag like golf. From golf? Yeah, Fuck. you would like you'd love Frank. I would love Frank. You'd love him. I think I'd get along with him really. I, I, I was afraid of you. What? He's terrified of you. Yeah, yeah. He gets nervous about people who he thinks are doing bits or like. Uh, I'm not a big yeah. guy. I'm the I'm the best friend you could ever have. I, I'm, I'm not really a big guy either <laughs> until he until he starts assuming I'm doing a bit and then I and then I don't I live in the shadow. There. No, I I overcorrect even more and I I hate I'm not even funny. Yeah, because if you do something funny, people will be like, look at you, you fucking freak. You weird just brains. couldn't help yourself. Yeah. I never know with you guys. I never fucking know. <laughs> do you want his number? You'd be like, hey, man, how's it going? No, He's I like, want to get Dude. it from him organically. It's 516. Okay, fine. I'll take it. 356 4470. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Whose number was that? Frankie Borelli. <laughs> oh, no, what? <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> oh, man. Some random person is going to be pissed. I'm not, I am I can't see it. Well, I mean. Or just Frankie. It, it could have just been Frankie's number, to be you honest. See, Frank, it could have been easier. He could have just given it to me. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> Try as I might. Wait, what was your, uh, your, what was the point of you saying yeah, you're uh, about to lead to something? You're like, what, no, was, what coworker? Uh, what coworker's number don't you have yet? Oh, just a light conversation starter. Yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to think. I, we could get him in. We could get him in here, and you could ask. Erica, you don't have Erica's number. No. She doesn't text you. Him. No, no reason. No reason to. When you're on your best behavior, they constantly. text me when they need to talk to yeah, Sass, yeah, and it's yeah, usually yeah. bad. They go through my manager. These right? are like, yeah, yeah. We'll talk to Nick to get to. It's me. really frustrating. <laughs> and I don't know if I've ever you, you talked think it's to frustrating? you. Well, I have to have an extra <laughs> calendar for Kyle. <laughs> I don't know. Have we spoken one on one? We've been yeah, on the same not. show on a daily show yeah, yeah. for four years. Very Damn near. Even right now, I'm having trouble making eye contact. We. I don't know if I've ever been alone with you and just had a, a full conversation. No, we can we, get out of here if you guys want to. Yeah, you guys want to knock us off? I wonder how that would go. We have been swags. next to each other on the subway and talked, and then we'll get off the subway and walk separately to the office. And it wasn't a conversation. It <laughs> no, was two up, utterances. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. One to two words apiece. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've done week-long trips with Kyle, two week-long trips with Kyle, yeah. and the only conversations we have are me showing him, like, a Pokemon I caught. And he's like, oh, that's gay. Yeah. <laughs> and that was that's our conversation. <laughs> that's that's our friendship. <laughs> yeah. That's more than me and Katie I've mastered had. solitude. Yeah, me too. Mental and physical. Damn, not but it's not introversion or loneliness or uh, solitude. I think so. Yeah, yeah. I think it's healthy. I think some people have the opposite, and that's a problem too. What's the opposite of solitude? People who need to be need to be in a social situation need yeah. to be have, need to have company. I I could just fucking sit on my couch all day, every day, forever, and that's healthy. Yeah, it's ah. great. Sometimes a weekend will pass, and I'll be like, oh, I haven't spoken in three. Yeah, days. that does happen. Yeah. But do you like that? I don't realize it in the moment, but I feel guilty afterwards. Oh, I've never felt guilty about that. What um what do you think is the longest that you could go um without speaking before you started to kind of Oh, I talk go to myself. Ooh, I could do a week out of anger. For sure. Um I was thinking like a whole era of of, <laughs> of the world, of the global time span. <laughs> like seven years? I don't know what would happen. 
like what would be the adverse effect like what would how would what would maybe break? maybe you start to i don't know but my guess would be maybe that the, the the inner monologue you have in your head you maybe you can't differentiate between that and what's being spoken out loud and by the way i'm not talking about sitting on your couch watching tv i'm talking about going out into the and doing a uh quest go do a like going to the store a solo and retreat people do that a silent like retreat. they go yeah right like the african you know this well i don't know about maybe not that one but i'm talking about spirit quests or what when people test themselves 30 days what's of so Rone, you could make it an hour that's like a primal thing that the original tribes would all do um, <clears throat> spirit quests yeah yeah the mm, spartan boys would be sent out into the wild to fight uh, saber tooth tigers and ten, yeah, and they'd have to bring them back. Yes, that's just the beginning. And of the 300? Tanzanians would have to, yeah, use a spear, and they would have to come back with a uh, a big game. Yeah, or they they would often die. Mm, what yeah. do you mean die? As in like they were killed Starf. by the big game, or yeah, they would have the to come back with the bo die. the body of like a a lion. Right, that's got to be with pretty tough to spear. carry. But you're talking about going to CVS. Oh well, uh. No, no, I think I think we we each go out, and maybe it doesn't have to be like you have to survive in the woods, but it is a place where you are not able to distract yourself from your inner monologue with the help of like a screen or content. Have you ever gone out with Roan? Yeah, many. He'll times. just like go up to me like I'm going to pretend like I'm a missionary to this waiter and try to convert him to <laughs> Judaism. Yeah, he's very he's yeah, very mischievous. Yeah, him yeah. and his boys, they always got some scheme that they're always a they bring to props do that in high school with them. Very yeah. capricious. They bring like wigs and fucking. Yeah. Have costumes. you ever learned a choreographed dance, Ron? Uh, probably, but I'm just not great at it. We learned how to SpongeBob. We and, should do uh, that for Black Friday. Wait, we should wait. all learn a really good dance. That would be so funny. That would be huge. No, SpongeBob the Baltimore Club Dance. What is that? Do it for us. It's like dance, boy. That's Whoa. the SpongeBob. Yeah, that's cool. Oh yeah, I've seen that. that. That is cool. Wait, that is really cool. Yeah, I fuck with that. I've heavily. seen that. That is cool. That was cool. Baltimore club dancing is uh, awesome, and also New Jersey club dancing. I don't know if you do. You, listen, you don't listen to any New Jersey club music. I keep seeing Jersey club. I didn't know if that was the Isle of Jersey, <laughs> UK, or New Jersey. It's New Jersey. It is. It's like songs that beats like. Like Jersey Shore anthems. No, it's more like black. It's like uh, okay. it's like black South Jersey, like uh, that uh, Lil Uzi song. I just want to rock. Oh, that's like that's Jersey Club. So that thing. Fuck bleeds that into one. Philly, or yeah, 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 South Jersey. So the dance Lil Uzi does is that that's Jersey that Club. Jersey Club. Okay, that's Jersey okay. Club. It seems like there's no rhyme or reason to it. No, it's kind of you just go where the body takes you. Yeah. That's kind but of that's, beautiful. But it that's is. different than uh, like drill or getting sturdy, like the uh, New York, all, all that kind of thing. I haven't gotten sturdy in a hot. I second. know. I don't know why. You, what's what, what's <laughs> not? Ever since these boys left, I know. Well, I feel like when you guys stopped, were here, I was you getting stopped stu getting sturdy. I was getting I'm not, sturdy. I'm not believing that for a second. <laughs> yeah, there's no. not a chance. Dude. I have. No, he has. I really you just don't haven't gotten sturdy. Time. No one's seen me get like sturdy. August. I don't think there's anyone out there who's seen me get sturdy in months. Since you guys left, it was like I feel like when you guys were here, I was getting sturdy like two to three times a week. And I don't know if you matured or. I don't this is something you grow time, out of. I guess. I don't know. When you're traveling so much, you don't really have time to get sturdy. It's different. <laughs> Did you dance at school dances? Uh, no. God, no. You didn't cha-cha slide? No, I would sit in the corner by myself and be like, I fucking hate everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I had to dance. At, I, Going to school dances sober was like the worst shit of all time. I yeah. did it. I, I went to yeah. dances and I would always dance with the fat girl. Really? Yeah, that was something in our family that we had to do. Like get your low, family? Like, yeah, my family that? had a creed. There was a, a creed. My uncle. Yeah, and everybody. you have to dance. You have to do at least one dance with the fat. Was girl. that like a like that was like look how good I am? I'm dancing with the fat girl. No, it's it, like was, it was. It take was. A, take it a picture was, of me with the panoramic lens. No, no, <laughs> that's not Down syndrome. She's 160 pounds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not fat. Because I had a buddy in school who would like dance with a disabled girl, and it was like always for show. Well, you would only a, dance with fat girls yeah, for pussy like, from dude, and they would girls. they would have their friends film it. Yeah, and he'd be like, what? I'm just being a nice person. Yeah. Like, but film this yeah. as yeah. I like, yeah. Film this. I wouldn't dance with a disabled girl. It was, and plus, it was a creed that he had in his family. Yeah, it was a creed. We had a creed. What did you say? What was the creed? Or can we know? The creed was you before you dance with the, the hot girl, <laughs> the, the non fats, you have to dance at least one time with the fat. Skim. Really? Yeah, just mm -hmm. a little taste. Yeah. Uh, true story. Unbelievable. And I would always, I would always make sure to find, find, 
That feels that like legitimately cr- fucked up. <laughs> yeah, <Brandon laughs> feels- what kind of what kind of like really bad? They loved it. What's, <laughs> what type of dance do you typically do with an overweight Slow girl? Dance. Slow dance. Okay, oh. I was going to think salsa. Yeah. Yeah, and you want to wait, wait? You want to talk about sturdy? <laughs> salsa. She would be yeah. sturdy. The tootsie she roll. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she will. I bet she was yeah, very sturdy. sturdy. In a different, little, little top heavy, typically, but uh, sometimes sturdy. you want to fall in love, though. That winds up being those marriages that you can't. Right, explain. exactly, because beauty would is she within. Know, though, would she be like, like, would like? I feel like after that, I feel like that catches on. How many times did you go to the dance? When well, I didn't school? tell her. You know, I'm dancing with you because my uncle said I had to. I didn't say that. What so. a weird thing for your uncle to say you have to do. I think it was metaphorical, but we took it literally. Oh, uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Make sure you dance with the, the, the not the non pop. He might What's have said. What's the metaphor? You, you know, gotta go through some. Don't dance with the non popular kids. Make sure you look out for the weak in the world. That's the metaphor. Those who are unloved. Those who are on the margins. If I'd seen Sass and that just pouting in the corner, I would have said, "There's a potential school shooter someday. Let go me see if I can them. save the lives of everyone here." You make out. Say, give him a blowjob. Mm-hmm. The yeah. I, I, hey, I was on a get potential school shooter since like first grade, and like on field trips, I would have him sit with me on the bus and stuff. Yeah. Let him play my Game Boy SP. That's smart. Yeah, you well, still kind of roll that way. He does roll yeah. that way. Yeah, yeah always do. do. Fucking, yeah. To stop him or to save yourself? Save you himself. know what I mean? Like, um, I do it out of guilt. So, but you're hoping that you'll deter a school shooting, or you're hoping that he'll see you while he's school shooting and be like, "You're good." Oh, deter a problem. Um, either way the is a win for would me. Feel better, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If everyone else yeah. is getting got, yeah, you feel yeah, a little I more feel special. Amazing. <laughs> that would be like the highlight of my life to be the one that was spared. <laughs> the one, yeah. in, the way, in the best way. I remember leaving school <laughs> dances. Thanks for dancing with me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that would be. Yeah, that would be. I chills. knew. I always yeah, knew I'd be safe in that situation. In fact, Francis, I'd be probably, you would not. Be safe. <laughs> you would not want to charge the gunman. Want to bet? You are like in every one of those school shooting in history. You're the first person to. Yeah. Go. Yes, but I knew everyone's names. That doesn't mean shit. Everyone it, knows the school. Derek. No, no, they don't. Yeah, they do. Those are the kids on the margins. No, no, the school shooter is always known because they they suspect. Like no school shooter's ever been surprising. It was always yeah, obvious. I'm trying to think, none have ever looked like you. Roll through them. Really? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, you're the absolute. But, that, if... but that doesn't mean that everyone knows their name. They could go to a huge school. I was lucky that I you went. You would to probably be hanging out in a library, school. like tutoring some fat girl <laughs> at a fucking. I think you <laughs> overestimate my popularity. I was not popular in in middle school or high school. I, was I just not. find it so. I mean, dude, you went to Harvard for lacrosse. Yeah, but I, that's when I found my stride. I didn't have my stride until then. But I feel like you just athletic, don't pick up lacrosse. If you're athletic in, in high school, Harvard. it didn't. They didn't like me. Kids didn't like me. I was not popular. I was a theater kid. Oh, oh. Okay. What, what's that like a sense. cool kid? There, in Maine. there it is. The flaw. Someone who doesn't care. Oh, Someone who's like, like that, a ho- the hockey team. attitude. School. Snowboarder. They like they they dip surreptitiously in in school. Yeah, that was always cool. Dude, I remember leaving my like last dance of high school like sober, and I was like, "I'm never gonna be able to have this much fun again. Like, it's never gonna be this sweet <laughs> yeah. again. Like, this is as good as it fucking yeah. gets." And every weekend since then has been better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Every single one yeah. has been. Dude, the better. last day of high school was just the best worst day of my life. Yeah, exactly. I thought I was fucking. I thought it, that was it. I thought I was fucking done. And it's yeah. just like, oh, you can just like go to dances like every single weekend or any day that you want with as much alcohol as you want. The one Girls thing that were poisoned, <laughs> big poisoned, just dancing with you. They really were. I like, was always just like, I, I just couldn't have fun at those events, and I would be like mad at people that could have. Fun. I was too nervous, and yeah. I went and sat in the cafeteria. I went to one homecoming, then yeah. no other dances. I was really big into. Uh, World of Warcraft. Instead, I always scheduled raids for dance night. Yeah, just in case like a girl asked me, I'd have an excuse. And uh, <laughs> but I went something. to my freshman year homecoming, and I had to bring a girl from a different school because I did the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, she had a boyfriend too. Same. She was dating Dakota. She was dating Dakota. Yeah, I thought you were about to say same. My, no, no, no. My girl was dating the only Jewish guy in the city. What was his name? I don't want to say, but it was hyphenated and two of the most Jewish names separated by a hyphen ever. His last name. We had um, a old, synagogue for just old old family. family. Yeah, dude, we dude, we had like a synagogue the size of a phone booth. It was just yeah. him walking in, right out. <laughs> that's that's honestly probably pretty fun. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, maybe just chill out. Um, yeah, so I went to that school dance, and she just danced with like 
her boyfriend and I was sitting in the cafeteria. Oh, he was there? Yeah. yeah. It, that's the only way we worked out a wet thing. Like she wanted to, she was in a different school, but wanted to go to this dance. So her boyfriend went with a girl and uh, she went with a guy. Did you take pictures or anything like the three of you guys? <laughs> uh, my parents drove the three of us in an envoy XL and I was shotgun and they were in the, <laughs> they were in the back row. <laughs> Making out. fucking Frenching. Were they, they weren't. I don't think they were Frenching. Making out in your mom's car? On Boy XL. Dude, you had to say shotgun. I called shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> I went to I went to junior year prom with a girl who had a boyfriend, but he was out of high school, so he couldn't go. Oh, and you were probably and so afraid. I, dude, he was furious. <laughs> he hated me. He yeah. fucking hated me. And I was like, we had been friends for a while. So I was like, yeah, I think this is pretty fine. And then, like, uh, I don't know. What was, kind of friendship? Did that though? dude reach out? We were I, like, we were like, my friend group was friends with their friend group. You were low key in love with this well, right. right. girl. Right. Yeah. The guy, the girl. You were friends with the girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He you didn't reach out, but I heard, I heard things like that. He like, like had dudes keep an eye on him. Kill you. <laughs> Damn. This guy's dude, I was so afraid, afraid of getting killed up. by a dude a grade so above scared. me at all times, or someone's dad. Yeah, like my dad will beat the fuck out of you, and I believed it. Or my dad, I was worried about my dad getting beat up by someone else's dad. Mm -hmm. That's actually the worst nightmare. That's <laughs> way worse than getting beat up yourself. That's <laughs> that Watching your dad get so bullied. hard. And like, get, get, not Walla? even beat up, his ass kicked. My dad would like, yeah. not his, landing a punch. His shorts and Hanes fall down. Like he's oh, topsy-turvy. Yes, he's, <laughs> he's upside down, but his pants are still around his ankles. Defying physics. Dude, that, wouldn't, yeah. that would be <laughs> Dude, scarring. That would be the worst experience on earth. <laughs> we got to do like a study on the kids who's ha whose dads have that been happened. Like yeah. your dad trying to defend you and he just gets his shit rocked. Yeah. Like the man that you look at as like invincible. Like, yeah. The and savior. He, the, of the strongest family. man on yeah. earth. Yeah. The patriarch. I think it'd be more emasculating than if your mother was a prostitute. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh, I would rather. If your mother right. was a prostitute. Have you ever seen oh, your dad like scared? I don't know if I agree with that. Your dad getting beat I up. Think, I think it would barely edge it out. Well, like you know, I had my baseball game. Dad and a dad on the opposing team get into a fight. My dad gets beat up versus learning that my mom is putting Cheerios on the table via fucking people. Yes, but she's not even Dude, really buying yeah, food what for do the you think family. Is more emasculating. The dad getting beat up. Oh, no, why, yeah, dude, like, like, I would rather before. like my mom be getting fucked in the dugout by the coach than like the coach hopping the fence and just kicking the shit yeah, out of my dad. Imagine, the drive, home, imagine the drive home with your dad and just like <laughs> he's still like sniffling. Yeah, but he's doing that thing to hold back his tears where he's smiling too big. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, what do you even say? You're trying to like like tell him that yeah, give him a pep okay. talk. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you went three for four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you had a good game. That wasn't bad. It wasn't as bad as it looked, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> dad nobody remembers who won yeah no one's even gonna remember that by tomorrow <laughs> and he's just fucking caught up everywhere <laughs> like an eye he looks like bleeding. jake gyllenhaal at the end of prisoners yeah, you have to bring your dad like hospital. a bag of frozen peas <laughs> turning to his eight-year-old son being like i got oh, i got sucker oh. <laughs> like dad, your dad has to go to the hospital and one of your friend's parents has to drive you home <laughs> <laughs> he's like they were jump they're jumping me <laughs> just one guy oh, oh man. god i don't know if i ever saw any parents like parents would yell at each other at hockey like at youth hockey games but they never they never the got brought to fists games or the youth baseball games are when it was the closest yeah. wrestling moms are crazy though fists? wrestling moms yeah they beat the shit out of their sons wrestling <laughs> is abusing your kid for losing it was mm. insane insane scene. but it's also abusing your kid like as yeah to like yeah. cut weight and stuff like too. watching like the, the kids are in plastics at 6 a.m like trying to make 55 <laughs> <laughs> seven and under 50 I, yeah this 55. is not no hyperbole kids were cutting weight to make 55 55 oh pounds God. pounds seven seven and eight 55 <laughs> that's insane that's not too far out of the womb yeah no. that's, that's why you guys Trent. are all five two <laughs> yeah it, West Virginia, the state youth tournament has a four and under category. So the first, <laughs> so like the first kids call are now up from Wirt County, four and under, thirty five pounds, and it'd be a bracket. And like the the dads were like your age, like like red face, crawling to the ring. Like these, some of the kids, like what are you doing that for? Can you speak? Can you speak in full sentences? No. Or you yeah. cannot like converse. 
Like, it's like me and Sass talking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they, the worst part, they would give the kids the same size trophy as everyone. It would be four feet tall. And yeah. like, you got these three-year-olds with the trophies, and they're scarred for life. <laughs> Chasing that high. That's like, dude, that's crazy. <clears throat> 35 pounds. How, do they even know technique? Do they know like any moves or anything like I'm that? Sure. Or they're just like dicking no, around and just, like floundering, yeah, like running after a soccer ball type right. of thing? Type of deal. I'm sure they had to have some sort of technique if their parents are making them cut weight at four years old. It's three and four. But I bet that's pretty cute. It's probably pretty it's easy. I'd like to, to watch make that. a four-year-old. I'd like to find any. Kids are definitely like crying badly. There's probably big disparities in strength by some of them, or like someone will get body slammed and like have like a real breakdown, like a child. <laughs> like I've definitely seen videos of that. Happened. Man, youth sports were fun. I can't wait to like have a kid that just like just the drama involved in it was always great. Did you enjoy fucking, playing them though? No, I hated it. Okay. It was yeah. like dads who haven't experienced a yeah. thrill in 20 years, like just parents it, coming over to the loving fucking, life. The, the bench at hockey games and like grabbing their kid and be like, you guys start fucking playing better right now. Yeah, kid, but back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then the kid turns around and he's like, fuck. <laughs> that happened to me a lot. I, I was, pr I'm pretty scarred from baseball. Yeah. My like, dad used to send my sister around the hockey rink and come over to the bench. And she go, dad says, you got to start playing better. <laughs> and then I'd look across the ice and my dad would just be sitting there like this. <laughs> go tell your brother to play better. I, didn't, I was an awful baseball player. I was like left field, right field, picking dandelions. Yeah. You know? And this was like in seventh grade. And our team was really good. Yeah. And we were in the division like finals. Elm and Grove we were rallying. Titans, Elm Grove Mets. I was on the Elm Grove uh, White Sox. Yeah. And uh, I went up to bat. It was like, you know, we had like one out left and we were making, we ever had the rally caps on and I got up to the plate and uh, the ref just, uh, the ump called me out because I went out of the batting order and lost our team the game. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, oh my uh, God. Yeah. Was a deal. yeah. The uh, I had one where I, I scored a goal on our, on our own net <laughs> in hockey. It hit, went off my skate and went into the, uh, into the thing. What'd your and dad my, have to say? On the way home, my dad was like, you know, if we were in Colombia, they would kill you for that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Colombia? Yeah. He was like, if we were in Colombia, they would shoot you in the head. Yeah. 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 Did he think you were going to play in the NHL? Did he, no, did he think he was going to will you? No, I was terrible. Yeah. Like, why did he? It was because I was really good when I was young. When I was like young, I was very good. Like, when I was like, and then I just never got better. Look, I we found the bracket. It's like you would stand up. You found a bracket? <laughs> this is it's 40 pounds. 40 pounds. So you got Boone Young from Lead Dog beating Sebastian Puffinbarg for the 40 pound title. <laughs> Sebastian Puffinbarg? <laughs> and there's a kid named, there's a kid named Jordan Anderson, and his team is ground zero. It's like <laughs> this is just the region. Puffinbarg? Yeah, 40 pounds. What the fuck? Puffinbar is a solid name. Did you guys uh trip crouch? <laughs> Wait, where where is this? Charleston. This Those is are just two like body crouch. positions. <laughs> Sounds like yeah. a crouch. gaming Fry, console Boone instructional Young. menu. Trip crouch. <laughs> I feel like it's such a mark of like uh perceived good parenting if you're like at the baseball games or like I was at all the baseball games or like my dad never came to the baseball games. I don't remember ever knowing if my parents were there, nor did I give a fuck if my parents were there. Oh, I always I hoped that they weren't there. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I think Malcolm Gladwell said those are like the healthiest parents. What? Who are at the, the games or who don't the go? The ones who don't make it a priority. Yeah, I, yeah. that makes yeah. sense, it's honestly. It's so weird to go to every game. Yeah, yeah it's well, too much. With hockey, the games were so far away that my dad would have to drive me. That was probably part of the reason that he was furious was because – the, yeah, he know, woke up at you, 4 a.m. Yeah, to get ice time, the game has to start at like 5.45. And hockey's expensive as fuck. Yeah. yeah. So we would have to wake up at like 3 and drive to the rink. Yeah. Do you no think wonder he was money down you you Yeah, <laughs> my God. Do you think that if you had not played <laughs> hockey, suck. that your dad and you would have had a better relationship? Me and my dad have a great relationship. What well, doesn't sound? Just the, and when I was a child, we didn't get along with hockey. <laughs> And now and then after me, he just stopped giving a fuck about sports. Neither of my sister, my younger sisters play sports. You, you broke him. You yeah. took that from him. Yeah. He's yeah, did. much happier now. Wow. I think the general vibe of the family is a lot happier since we ditched hockey. Since he stopped wanting. Yeah. Mm. Since he stopped wanting for more yeah. from his boy. We were gonna do a seat. sketch about it a while ago, but just like about like the drives home after a bad game. Too real though. And you're just sitting in the back seat and it's just silent. You should do the one of the dad getting yeah. the shit beat out of him. Yeah, that is fucking That's... hilarious, dude. <laughs> your dad getting the shit beat out of you would be like not scarring. even landing a punch. You would never be able to yeah. look at your dad the same way. No. Yeah, not even yeah. landing a punch is so funny. <laughs> just getting embarrassed. <laughs> 
like it, it yeah. would it, and if it goes on for a while it's like a, it's like a solid like three minute fight. yeah punch 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 <laughs> all landing on his face Your dad just getting <laughs> back up him trying dad, to fight dude. is way more embarrassing than him just yeah, like taking a couple punches and being like all right yeah. let's settle this having to throw Sweating. in the towel for your own father <laughs> all right enough he's had enough i said leave him alone <laughs> uh <laughs> <laughs> oh god Oh man, there were parents who would get like like escorted out of games a lot. Yeah, yeah. I wonder how it is now. I think like it's got to be are, a lot more relaxed. It's more intense though. Really, like, Definitely. kids are specializing in one sport, and it's probably because they're seeing like fucking Joe Burrow getting two hundred fifty million dollar contracts, and parents are probably especially like, now with NIL this. like that. There's, yeah, there's an incentive. Yeah, the the money is closer than it seems. Mm-hmm. Some of these kids are jacked as fuck too. Oh, mm-hmm. and they're all on steroids. Honestly, you not being around has has deprived me of like what the kids are like what the uh, like eight to twelve year olds are doing. Like I don't know about like uh, baby Gronks and like uh, oh yeah, uh, Sartorius. I was on the pulse Your finger is on the pulse. Yeah. You really were. You one hundred percent were. So I feel like I just don't know anymore. Well, I do know there's a baby Justin Jefferson now, but he's white though. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Baby Diggs, baby Diggs, baby Diggs. Oh, baby Diggs, baby Diggs. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, baby Gronk is like just. I mean, there's still people like he's kind of fallen off, but there's still people in every single post being like, "Fuck you, baby Gronk. I hate you." Imagine falling off when you're eight. Yeah, it's <laughs> tough. It's gonna suck. <laughs> that's gotta suck. His brain wiring's gotta be crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's so bad. <laughs> it's really bad. And like people like me are like only making his future yeah. worse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There mm-hmm. definitely will be a documentary. It's like girls on Twitter surviving and Instagram Mr. when they Gronk. turn 28. It's like dudes commenting like Shaq in the Celtics. Jersey. That's a new thing. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen that? <gasps> yeah. I don't no. understand. Wait, can you explain that for me? Washed up. Washed up. That was like his Khalifa. last team he played for oh, at the end of his yeah. career. Okay. Well, how, what, these girls the are still beautiful. Yeah. And these dudes that, you know, are they're just sending... Oh yeah, I got I did delete Instagram because the the it, it enrages me. The comments, the women Instagram. getting picked on enraged you. <laughs> no, it's not even like women getting picked on. It's like <laughs> I can't take this. Anymore. These beautiful twenty seven year olds are getting picked on. No, but it's not even them getting picked on. It's and like, that's my cue to leave. <laughs> it's great. It's wild, dude. The war, the gender war, is the strongest yeah. it's ever been. I was feeling ever. horrible for Summer yeah. Rae. I was like, oh, yeah, geez, yeah. Doesn't deserve this. Yeah. Who's Summer Rae? Big ass. She she's post, she's posting a picture of her ass. She's like that one nice ass. ass. She's getting like the Shaq Celtics yeah. responses. Hmm. Yeah, go to her most recent photo of herself on Twitter and then look at the through the replies. And it's kind of fun, like, oh, I forgot he played there. Like <laughs> a lot of that those, game. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. That is fucking and it's nuts. all like 13 year old boys. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and Indian it, dudes. We've been through this before. Yeah, we always a, yeah, it always comes Indian back dudes. to this. Yeah. Then look at like Heather Locklear. You know who that is? No. It's like an old beautiful old, woman. Yeah. OBW. She's still beautiful. <laughs> she still got it going on. That's great. She still loves it. That's good looking. shit. Yeah, really fucking good You're not shit. Not throwing the Celtics jerseys under her profile. That would be think really so. funny. Yeah. She was like, like a real old hot. one. She was like a rock band 80s hot. Oh, okay. Like she was in like Wayne. But she still got it. Is she on the White Snake hood? May maybe probably something somebody like that, like that was just smoking hot still though. Francis, who's your first celeb crush? Here's a, probably a weird one. Natalie Portman. Okay, mm-hmm. that's, that's pretty fine. standard. When was that? Like uh, Garden State or before that? Love, loved War. her in Garden. It might have been Clone Padme Wars. in in Star Wars. Yeah. Yeah, when she was tied up, got that fucking white suit ripped. She had I, know, I know. Red on her lip. Yeah. 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 The fucking bones. She was a Harvard student while she was doing Star Wars. Really? Yeah. Damn, I thought she was like fourteen. Or she may, uh, I think she, maybe she, she might, maybe she, maybe like she that? did like the second one or the third one while she was there. I wonder why she had such a chokehold on people. People loved her. As as far as how she looked, I think that she was a lot of people's first crush. She had that sexy, raspy voice. The voice. I loved the voice, and I loved her laugh, and I don't know, just loved her. What about her ass and tits? <laughs> Didn't know. They didn't know about those. Not crazy yeah, though. That, that's yeah. a, that's, no, not, that's my point. It wasn't. It definitely wasn't a lust. She's not bodacious. Yeah, it was, it was a, not a lust with her. I did not lust. It was for a love. Her. It was love. Yeah, yeah, I I feel that. I loved her because she wasn't. Uh, what has she been up to? Is she still making stuff? I feel like she's the per- type of person that would age gracefully. Uh yeah, I think I don't know it, it, what she's been doing. The last thing I saw of hers was that sci-fi movie she did that was okay. 
she jumps where bullshit. she went into the sphere kind of thing went into the world oh is it the one where that she one. like spoke to aliens through her brain or some shit was May that her or was that someone else that was uh what's it called Chastain? a rival yeah that was Kira knightley's her rival right but they look alike no no the same to amy me adams. just amy adams amy adams is the same as jessica chastain, chastain. chastain mm, same person yeah. the chick from hot rod who's married to sasha baron cohen oh Is isla fisher mm, they, that's she... drew barrymore to me i don't know why <laughs> okay uh -huh. hot rod's a good movie yeah uh -huh. classic classic bill Hader. yeah that was Danny like mcbride as like big characters kid. yeah those are fucking studs when he falls down the when he falls down the hill for a long time yeah that like killed him. that was absurd yeah, because how yeah. could he keep on falling i think i like went home to my parents i was like you guys gotta fucking see this <laughs> mom dad i'm going into comedy yeah <laughs> this is gonna be me one day when did you realize you were funny uh a couple months ago yeah i sat at the stand yeah once that hockey shit didn't work out. <laughs> it's hockey shit, yeah. Once I realized I wasn't going to the league, <laughs> so I got to take these skills somewhere else. You're just like holding the top of your stick, like, wait a sec. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> this could be me. This feels perfect. <laughs> 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 this feels just right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good God. Damn, what else you guys doing while you're in town? You know. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> No. Nick, Nick didn't even eat dinner yesterday. Yeah, no. Nick really? didn't eat lunch or dinner yesterday. Or breakfast today. You guys were grinding. Yeah, he's been on a fast too. These dudes just aren't eating anymore. Fasting is yeah, I, I recommend it because this is the time when I would always crash, sluggish. Did you guys? I ate and feel pretty good. Did you guys come back and people try to like uh, otherize you? Be like, what are you guys doing around here? Or like, yeah, uh, we haven't even gone for a month. Yeah, yeah people just fresh. miss that much work here. Like people, yeah, yeah. people in New York have been gone for longer. <laughs> There's definitely people I've worked with that I've never seen. So I forget. I walked in and somebody's uh -huh. like, "You look good." I was like, "What? The, I've been gone for yeah three weeks." Uh -huh. Yeah, you look exactly the same. Exactly the same. Yeah. Probably worse. We. I think it's that we've had a lot happen. It's been yeah. Crazy. It seems like it's been nuts. That's now, what you guys have witnessed us sitting at the desk talking about the Delta Sky Miles doing frequent flyer off is debates. every single day. That's not true. It's Sass. every day. We watched all of Surviving Barstool unfold. No spoilers. Oh, yeah. I wasn't here for that. <laughs> all right. Um, that was fun. That was insane. But no Delta Miles talk that week. Yeah. None? I find that hard to believe. Yeah, Francis, that's it always. It I might, I might have talked to Glennie about it. Yeah, we talk about it because it's Tommy's in on it now too. Glennie's big in it. Glennie's fucking platinum. Damn, I'm bummed I moved. Yeah, yeah. But we're always to... lie back all the time. Yeah, we're always moving. So Sass, yeah, playing. What's like the peak of this debate? Like entertainment? No, it's no, not a debate. To, it's, 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 debate. It's not a debate. It's a. Uh, I just don't understand how they're so far ahead of me when I fly so much. They're spending their they're spending their more first money. Class. That's what it is. Yeah. I found out. Francis was like, if you spend four hundred thousand dollars in the next two months, you could get to my. I status. was right next to you, and that was verbatim what he yeah. said. And I was like, I don't think I have. Why don't money. you just go to Japan? <laughs> Look, I'm just saying all this. This, this, is go to guy, this is a guy who has lived off off a debit card for you know all these uh, years, and I have it's been true. telling you for so long. To switch to a credit card and you just said oh i've got you know my dad's coming in next week to help me pick one out <laughs> i know, never said that you said things like that, that. Uh, my dad's introducing me to a man who will help me find one and <laughs> that never, and, never, and then never I, I would two weeks would go by and i would i would then watch you pay for a round of beers with a debit card yeah which was way easier yeah I don't understand. Like, I get like you get like the points and stuff with credit cards, but it's like then you got to go into another app and pay for it again. Yeah, you're doing it twice. Yeah, it's like it's still coming out of where. Yeah, but the with a credit card, card you don't have to p punch your debit code in every time you pay for something. I guess. Yeah, that is more convenient. My Apple Pay works. Yeah. You know, it's been convenient for me this this twisted tea. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We have. I mean, I just love Twisted Tea. Is there is there a copy for an ad read, or is it more just kind of uh, kind of off the top, just freelance it? It is one hundred percent the best tasting alcoholic it's beverage. I mean, literally anywhere at a crowded um, bar. KB, you you throw me off. You see, you seem like a, a Twisted Tea would be one of your top bevs. It is. Yeah, it's the it's only the best one that's like one. kind of close to like a real non-alcoholic beverage. Yeah, like very tasty. Me. 
Very it is confusing. Mm -hmm. They're dangerous. Yeah. You know? My uh, so one of my good. sisters loves twisted tea. My older sister yeah. loves it. We, All she'll drink is twisted tea. We <laughs> uh, drink Yeah. We won the state championship. My well, never mind. I'm not twisted tea story. is the best. <laughs> I, I'm so it's real yeah, real tea with a kick, which is crazy. Full of flavor, very refreshing. Goes down smooth. Best thing for football season. Honestly, if you're if it's football season, you've got to be drinking twisted tea. Grab a refreshing twisted tea today. So dang good. So goddamn. It's pretty cool that you guys don't have internet too. in this office. I like that you kind of ditched that. That we did what? There's no internet. I was trying to upload that. Oh no, no we'd no, add no, live no. internet. No, no, no. What no, do you no, mean no, by no. that? Did we take that with us? No. Yeah, you guys took the router. Oh. <laughs> we just have like an at home like the Xfinity router. Dude, we're using <laughs> Devlin's hotspot. Yeah. <laughs> Big Cat was our internet guy. Yeah, he uh, took a tower with him. House. He took yeah, the Big, servers with Big him. Cat's the internet. We got to keep all the tea. <laughs> tea. Oh, yeah, yeah. He came into the office in Chicago. He's like, where do you guys keep the tea? I'm like, what? This is the most mm. bare bones office in the world. It's really bare bones out there. Pissing. Franchise. You have to be super strategic to piss. Oh, Because you yeah. have to go outside. You have right? to have a key to You need piss. to use a key to piss. And there's a girl's oh. bathroom to piss in, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I but guess. then you'll get shamed if the bathroom's smelly, even if it wasn't you. Yeah. Can we talk about you getting mugged? Or have you covered that quite a bit? A little bit, but I, not too much details. But nah, nah, it's pretty traumatic. I wasn't oh. mugged. I wasn't like, it's whatever. They took from you? Did they touch you? Who? Who? <laughs> Do you think that's a Chicago thing? Like, do you regret moving there because of that? No, it happened sooner when I moved here. What do you mean? I, I, I've been roughed up a couple times. Really? Yeah. You're that guy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Damn. That sucks. It happened on my first Rediscovering America trip. Dude, I would have um, definitely danced with you first. Yeah, at man. The middle school dance. No, I know. That's my uncle would have wanted. Even KB being like, mm hmm. Like, <laughs> yeah. no, knowingly, like, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Keeps on happening to the boy. No, it's just like, if if somebody that, like, that wants something sees me, they know they have it. Well, that's true of all of our coworkers, too. Everybody abuses your kindness. Mm -hmm. It's not, yeah. yeah I, like, I like, I want to be in my new video. I'm starting a series about finger painting. And you yeah. have to write it. And you would yeah. write the whole thing. So here's the idea I'm not going to do anything. You're it's gonna, gonna be me and you it. on camera telling jokes. <laughs> All right, let's see. Yeah, let's talk about the idea real quick. What do you got? And then you pitch the whole idea, and then it's. Oh thing. yeah. So, <laughs> somebody who doesn't work here anymore sat me down like, "Hey, I have this good idea I've been working on. It's um, this would be weekly. It's a, uh, it's an animated show. Yeah. And I was like, "All right." And he was like, "Do you want to do the? Do you want to like hop on board for the rest?" I was like, "What?" <laughs> They're like, "That's what I have." <laughs> so they just pitched me cartoon. <laughs> Wait, <that's the> <laughs> yeah. I would watch this good. happen. We used to sit next to each other. I would watch this happen every single day. Someone would come up to you and be like, "Nick, I got this really fucking good idea." They would pitch him I'm the genre. Need you to write seventy-five jokes within the next thirty minutes. That's doable, right? Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, we'll sell it. Someone else was going to host it, though. You're not going to be on any of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's cool though because it has gives in, no it. it because like if somebody makes a good joke, like if Brandon makes a genuinely good joke, oh, wow, yeah. people are just like Nick did it. Everyone, again. yeah, yeah. So that's nice. There's yeah. Yeah. once every yeah. <laughs> How I'm is not, the... I, I, I like it. It's it's, it's people. Uh, I don't. I've convinced myself that it's people respecting me, but are people using me? They're using you, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of use. Yeah, they're now. using you to make their life better. That's all it is. It's fine. But I, I like it because because if I don't do it, they won't be friends with me. <laughs> <laughs> so you actually you're using them yeah yeah, yeah you're using them yeah. yeah you've actually used them without friends what's the point of getting up right what's the setup of the of the office going to be uh is it like you guys i know where the yak is right there next to the basketball court is it going to be you guys is it like hollywood squares kind does of. it kind of is it like open uh, it all is open out like so hollywood you squares walk kind in, of there's the basketball court it's a lot like this office you walk in there's the basketball court the golf sim and the gym <laughs> and then the roof <laughs> the roof for roof the ball. roof for roof ball. that's above the the golf oh, yeah. sim but then there's like yak uh, around the corner part of my take you know um all brandon and titus's show they're um, all on the first floor all first floor and what's the second floor uh there is a content area that i think will be live like 24 7 um really? always mic'd up and then there's like a row of studios two general use ones i i saw that they painted son of a boy dad stuff up but then they had to paint over it sadly um <laughs> did they really 
No. Oh. The office is not even done. Yeah. They already <laughs> painted over. Wait, yeah. is there really going to be a 24-hour content place? I think. Imagine a live shooter in there. Dude, that would suck. <laughs> the views. You're going to have to be on a constant. You shooter. can't even have private conversations. <laughs> That's right. Um, and then our studio, I think we're next to Dog Walk, and then two more general studios if we want to try to poach people from here. Nice. It's going to be a lot of just farting. A lot of farting. Yeah, I think yeah. a lot of farting. Yeah. In the live yeah. studio, it's going to be a lot of just... <laughs> no, you're right. My a lot of people... Yeah. Uh, everybody's thinking it. Yeah. You said it. It's going to be a lot of farting. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of Chick-fil-A. No like, one even here. They, people barely even talk. They when I was talking to Big Cat about rip moving, ass I was like... And shove food in their faces. <laughs> you're... Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. When I was talking to Big Cat about moving to Chicago, I was like, just swear to me, it's not going to be all farting. <laughs> and he had to have had his fingers crossed behind his it's back. It's going to be a lot of farting. Well, I just can't think of anything worse. weird take by you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's just going to be all farts. I can't think of anything wait, wait, worse. What are you talking about? All is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> In a 24-hour You could have said there's going to be place? some farts. That's going to be the most boring shit of all time. No, it's not. They'll be doing shit on purpose. Who do you think of yeah, here you're... when you think of farting? Who, who's the who's Dude, the... legitimately everyone that's not in this room right now. Who do you think farts the most yeah, out I there? I fart more than them. What what lady at Barstool think, do you think farts the most? A lot of them. Yeah? Who? What, what co-worker has the fartiest ass? Female. We should go sniff some chairs. Say. Should we sniff some chairs? Let's go sniff some chairs. Uh, no. You were doing that earlier. If they have a twenty, if they had a twenty-four hour live cam in this office, it would be like they would send it to like Stanford and they, be like, "You guys need to study these." Tapes. It should be a, it should be a thermo cam, one of those ones that shows the, the red, yeah, a heat cam, a yeah. heat cam, yeah, yeah, like in like Predator. the purple dye that they have in pools. Yeah, 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 in someone yeah. Pees. yeah. We need to have like fart air in here just so we can detect it. I might just set up a fucking camera one day. Just go. This is gonna be live the whole day. Yeah. Put it out on a separate stream. Wait for people to find it. And then Who, one day it'll turn into one of those like Japanese game shows where there's just like 10 million people watching it at yeah. all times. Truman Show. Yeah. How? Where? Where did you even put it? Like to to watch everything? Probably like up top, Eagle Eye. Oh uh, yeah. Put Bird's Eye View. <laughs> Dude, that's like pitching cartoon to me. All right, we're gonna <laughs> put camera up top. <laughs> this would be the biggest show at Barstool <laughs> if I see a camera. <laughs> and it's just like John Rich taking the view. top off a salad. Yeah, <laughs> that's all it would be. Yeah, I mean, I I bet that they're gonna do like video games or like play checkers or some shit yeah. like that. Like they're probably gonna do something on purpose there. It's not just gonna be a, a fart cast. So are there people out there who like they just consume Barstool from the moment they wake up to the moment they go to bed? Yeah, Barstool employees. Like this would oh, end, and they'd be like, all right, yeah. I guess I'm going to pop on over to the 24-hour stream. Watch yeah, them leave this to work along with us. A whole lot. <laughs> you have a problem with that? Watch them walk out of the studio <laughs> and sit at their desks. The 24-hour idea, I'm not thrilled on. And I feel, I feel like you don't shit. work there, I feel man. Like you bad. already started an all <laughs> farts I stigma. Like it's it's going to be all farts. Like yeah, I don't think you understand. Which makes it watchable. You're like honestly, you're selling idea. it accidentally. Yeah, dude. If they're If they're... As many farts as I, you're I promising. Think just, I think I'm just having a hard time understanding what it is. It's just like, you know, like the Papa Shot will be out there probably. Like people just like messing around, interacting. Um, you know, KB and Brandon tussling. Yeah. Farts. There will be farts. Um, okay, yeah. Kind so of, is it going to be like when there's like when you catching an go on to like romance. a, on like, like a zoo's After website? After hours. Yeah. yeah. Like when you go into like a zoo's <laughs> website. <laughs> like, zoo's like a zoo's And website. they have like the panda. Yeah. And you click on and it half the times the panda's just asleep. And there's, oh, yeah, there's always like 500,000 yeah. viewers. And then for yeah. one second a day you can see it sneeze. And then you're like, there it is. Dude, imagine <laughs> getting drunk at the office after a rough and rowdy and you wake up and you, found, you forgot you fucked Blatman in front of the, in the live camera area. <laughs> oh, like, is that what's oh, gonna be? No. Did I fuck Blackman in front of the live cameras there? Oh man, that'd be good. The people are gonna be like, dude, you've gone to the bathroom like 10 times today. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. get yeah. tweets about that. DMs. Yeah, Chipotle again. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Is that where the desks are set up? Yeah, in that area. Yeah. So it's gonna be everybody's desks. Is this real? I think so. Are you guys fucking with me? I think it's. I I've been pretty out of the loop, but that's what I thought. There's a lot of TikTok places that do this, like the Yellow Rose in Dayton. Like you can just plop, plop on their live and uh, and just the place we hosted the twerk competition. Drink, yeah, and Put in Bay has a 24 hour live at the pool. Missed yeah every yeah. day. Every day on is TikTok. the pool open 24 hours? Yeah, people so. enjoy it. The calming simplicity. So like people are gonna go. They'll be like, all right. They'll wake up in the morning. They'll throw on 24-hour live. Barstool Radio will come on. They'll throw that on. Imagine back. having 
the camera, then, like the, the morning Mincy said the, the no, no. Word. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to have so many people watching everything. Right. So yeah. I think it's almost like the gambling streams. They're going to have it just for like those clips. Yeah. Like if there's one viral clip that can come out of it every other day, they'll be awesome. Yeah. It does seem like a lot though. <laughs> <laughs> they're not going to not do it, dude. It seems like a lot. Like Wait, for, call, I'm worried for call you Hank guys. right now and talk him out of it. Like, can we call Hank? I would love to know about it. I would love to. Yeah. Call Hank. Go ahead. Don't say anything about the farts. Don't, no, please. Hank will be he's heard that so a million upset. times already. He probably is one of the fartingest dudes that we have. Hank? No. What? No. All right, All right I'm calling Hank. You're, you're treating it like it's a bad thing. I'm talking about good heart health, a lot of beans in your diet. I'm not going to hang out with the farty dude. The magical fruit. He's not going to answer. You got to tell him he's live to tape. Hey, it's Henry. Sorry, Mr. Call. Damn, Henry. Maybe we should have called from Roan's phone. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, wait, call from Roan's and see He'll if it first ring up. <laughs> probably has like a special ringtone for Roan. But if yeah. I saw you calling me, I would freak out. Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah, percent. I don't think you've ever called me. Hey, it's Henry. Sorry. Less. Oh, he hung up. Oh, so he must be in trouble. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ! If he's not answering my calls, things are bad. Or he, it'll be like last time when he was on anus. How did he answer the phone? He was like, hey. Yeah. Yeah. Did you pause him? Hello. Oh, what? how did he say hello? hello. Yellow. Hello. Yeah. Yellow. Oh, man. Excuse they're they're going to have to have it. He's probably in an emergency meeting because he was watching. He was like, we forgot about the farts. farts. It's going to be all farts. <laughs> we what if we give man ponds to all the guys to clog up the farts? It is. I'm going to be watching it constantly. Yeah, see? Yeah. yeah. Like if White Sox Dave brings a date in at like 10 p.m. Yeah, but are you guys going to like be – you guys are, don't care about this? Like you don't mind? What would I well, – how be in would their office. Be They'll be in their cameraless office. Oh, okay. I see. But if like I know I'm – like something's going on, I'll go out there and – yeah. That would be cool. What's um what's White Sox Dave like? You've, you've been on You've met with him. him. Yeah. yeah, you would uh, like a whole trip to Arizona mm -hmm. with him. Mm -hmm. He's like that. Why are you asking us? Is he... Um, actually, never mind. Come on. Well, I've heard that he's quite popular with the ladies. I, um, I haven't had the chance to like, go out to a bar with him yet. Okay. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, I believe that. Tommy and Glennie are. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Time. yeah. Tommy like, is? Yeah. Tommy's hit list looks like my Instagram Explorer page. Yeah. What? Heard, yeah. yeah. What's he like, do? Tommy and Glenny fuck more nights than they don't. That's not true about Tommy's Glenny. Tommy's longest to dry Glenny spell was probably oh, yeah, 20 Glenny. years, but then his next longest dry spell was probably like six hours. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but, he's that thirsty? No, he's, he's just in he's in honeymoon insa phase. Insatiable. Yeah. But Tommy Glenny goes has... on dates every single night. D Tommy just leaves his apartment door open and lays in bed. <laughs> <laughs> like stray cats coming. He just leaves yeah. out some milk. He just puts yeah. a $20 some bill cream. on his penis. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, yeah. no, no. They they leave the $20 yeah. bill. But Glenny has like a, a dedicated and detailed anthology of every <clears throat> encounter. Ooh. That's what? horrifying. That's not great. Why? I don't know. I was told you're not True supposed detective. to do that. One time I got yelled at by my English teacher, a sophomore year of high school. She she sat me down in the cafeteria and said that she'd heard I was keeping a list of all the girls I was making out with. Oh, is that, did you have a list? That's uh, a fun list to make. I think one day it's at soccer practice. I started actually going through it out loud. So we were stretching, and then somehow that got back. And, Wait, you, so weren't, and you weren't popular. Yeah, in I was high about school? to say, bro. I wasn't making. Yeah, out. you had a list of makeouts. <laughs> no one has sophomore ever, no year. <laughs> I had, a good, I had a good, I had a good fall because yeah. I was a you. new kid. I, I switched you. to a new high school. Yeah. Anybody, it all yeah. went downhill yeah. after that. The Sass. new kid's reading off the list of his makeouts. That's like, <laughs> that's like they, that's like some, that's your character that they would write about. Yeah, but I was Riverdale. a new kid. I was a new kid in school, and everyone liked me, and then I faded, and everyone hated me. Found out your makeout list was fake. Yeah, you kissed. No, I didn't. I didn't lie about what the makeout make list. list. Like, you still have it? Oh man! <laughs> like, Why'd cloud? you do sexy voice for that question? <laughs> so many, so many girls. He wants to compare. Was making yeah. out with all kinds of girls. Hot tubs in hot tubs. Oh, um, I've never been in a hot, hot, tub. hot tub making out when you were a sophomore. I've yeah, never been in a hot tub with a girl. It was no. at Chris, yeah. Chris Hitchborn's yeah. house. Chris Hitchborn's house. Oh, that Damn. changes everything. I would go over there because I don't think I was allowed to go to go girl boy parties until i was like a senior in high school yeah <laughs> we would play spin the bottle where we with the jets of the hot tub would would uh spin the bottle towards the person you're supposed to make out with 
Nah, bro. And you were also the best lacrosse player in the state. Sounds like you had a rough high school. No, you experience. got. You must have gotten picked on because you were the best kisser, maybe. <laughs> I definitely didn't help. But <laughs> no, after my sophomore That's year, I, he's I, new and he's I flamed out. I flamed out. Because <laughs> he kisses better than me. Try not to come for his kisses. We're going to hang him from the flagpole later from his underwear. Because his kisses are just too sensual. <laughs> uh, Rumors going around, sass. his kisses feel way too good. Put Lothario in the fucking locker. <laughs> Girls are coming off of his kisses alone. Meanwhile, he's barely even hard. <laughs> no, I wasn't hard. You weren't hard, Mackin? No, I wasn't hard. I never got that. I remember one of my friends when we were younger told me that he doesn't. He never got hard when he was Mackin. That was like I don't get hard when I'm Mackin. Saying? What are you talking about, Mackin? Mackin. About... <laughs> but Mackin for kissing, like flirting, or no, Mackin get... kissing, making you're, out. You're getting hard when Mackin. you're flirting, Mackin. Bro, when Mackin. I was in high school, yes, that's you're, what you're we getting hard. I never really game. macked. I never really macked. In macking high school. is spitting game though. It's not <laughs> kissing. Yeah, macking. <laughs> macking. Macking out. No, no. <laughs> Mackin is flirting. No, I, and yes, I'm, we would get hard, Mac, flirting. I'm using yes, clearly. That I'm was, using that that dude, was I've been that close definition. to coming from like, Wait, flirting, flirting too hard. Right. Yeah. I was flirting too fast. <laughs> no, but like when I was, <laughs> <laughs> I was flirting too fast, I almost came. <laughs> Laugh it up, fellas. <laughs> I know I was in a room full of fucking stallions. <laughs> You just tried to pop. You tried to normalize on. macking out. Yeah, macking yeah, is dude. not a thing. That's a new slang. Macking is like that. Nobody. When did you start saying that? Macking? Yeah. <laughs> I've been saying that for years. Was yeah at your high school? No, I probably didn't say that in high school. I think my dad says it. I think my dad came up with that one. Very macking? Bad. Yeah. But then your point. To your point. Yeah, we were getting hard making of, out. I'm getting the hardest I've been. But he said I he wasn't getting I didn't, hard. I didn't get hard making macking. <laughs> but no, it's not. I didn't like it. I, I didn't like ma macking in high school. I yeah, wasn't. You were just like, can you just fucking blow me already? Can you blow me? No, up? No, <laughs> no, no. I just. I, can you just my blow mind me so wander. I can add you to my blow list? <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah. My mind would wander. I, would, I, would, I found it fucking boring. Out of space on my Mac list. I yeah, I start. I don't have any more room. Numbers. Yeah, yeah. No, I was. You know the sober. notes app has a bottom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is a, there so is like, a limit. Reach the bottom. Reach the bottom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. It was the fall of your yes. sophomore year when you were Before 15. Before the cloud. You Before better blow me because I'm going to be honest, honey. There is no way I'm wasting my last spot on the notes app with your name <laughs> for my Mac list. I won't kiss you, but you can blow me. There's a bunch of room on anal. <laughs> <laughs> Touch <Yeah>. anal. <laughs> I didn't like I didn't like making out. Why though? Just uh, felt gross. I didn't I didn't know what I was doing. I knew I knew I was good at kissing, so I would like stop midway and I'd be like, "Not bad, huh?" <laughs> <laughs> you can probably pleasant tell this surprise isn't my first time. <laughs> Why do you look so shocked? <laughs> you should see your fucking face right now. Oh my god. <laughs> like deer in the headlights. <laughs> oh, you haven't heard? Oh my god, dude. What a nasty boy. <laughs> I know I was just bad at it. I'm sure I was just bad at it. Yeah, I, I still to, am. I probably did probably try to do too much. Yeah, too too enthusiastic. Uh, what was your wedding day kiss? Was it a peck? Were there children at the wet what was your wedding first kiss? Just, you I mean, may kiss lips. the bride. Oh, yeah. I think it was lips. Yeah. Just yeah, lips. but it was sort of a prolonged. Long lips. Long lips. You know, good, good one. Good. Yeah. Did a little bit of a dip, maybe. <laughs> I went dip. to a wedding where, like, the new dad, like, the father in law of my <laughs> friend getting married was like, come on, kiss her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Now, when. <laughs> That's right, a real kiss. kiss. Her all day. <laughs> he was getting hard for sure. Yeah. He was That's rock, all right. you got? Oh man! Let me show you how a man. <laughs> oh dude, pushes the kissing groom. He's like getting pissed. He's like, "What? Kissing at your the wedding is something they gotta phase out." <laughs> yeah, I would have to because I don't suck. know how to. Do no, it. that's the that's the moment. Because dude. if you kiss for too long, then the crowd woo, and I don't want that. Oh. Whoa! Yeah, did you get a woo at your wedding? No, no. Well, not just a big uproar of cheers, and you know, you do, Ooh. you do. Nothing he's not used to. <laughs> Every time you kiss, somebody's <laughs> clapping. Oh, he killed at his wedding. <laughs> Damn. 
sass. Kissing you, on the lips, though, has got to be like, like, <laughs> like when you're at that. Yeah, the we wedding. know, dude. That's it. At the wedding, you had it. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> that's, that's it. That's exactly that's right. I'd be pretty astute observation. <laughs> You had Y'all it, ever notice kissing? People at wedding be like, <laughs> <laughs> "It's gotta be like uncomfortable, though, right?" I feel like I would be so nervous. Yeah, dude, I'm so nervous about that. I I am so like, far from yeah, marriage, and I'm nervous fucking, about that now. Like in front of your parents and shit. Yeah, bro, I'd be like, "Turn what around." What are you talking about? Yeah. No. Well, I'm sure it's different from you. You've had a Mac list since you were fucking ten years old. No, and he doesn't get hard. Yeah, guy like me gets you, hard. Yeah. By the time you get married, presumably you've kissed your girlfriend and fiance in front of your parents like a wedding no kiss. Whoa, my no. parents have never no. seen that it's crazy you never kissed a, a girl in front of your god, parents? oh my no. god oh, no. my kinfo no <laughs> hell no wait francis that's kind of weird that's no, no. Freaky. there was always that's some freaky. kids that would like make out with their girlfriend yeah. before getting into the back of their parents yeah, car. yeah that's, that's weird. freaky like, shit i wouldn't do i'm not talking about that i'm talking you know as a whatever 31 year old no my saying parents goodbye have to my, never seen me kiss. my girlfriend or, or fiance you know for the weekend or something near my parents or something goodbye love you i would uh, just gotta be a hug just never just had a love a like hug. that a hug, yeah yeah Dap up, you Dap up the you uh, wouldn't text, mac, me, talk some text me when you get home you wouldn't mac right, on hey. your girl You're asking sass this in front of your i would, ne- dude, I would, sass I would isn't never walking her to the i would door. never do that That's would you no, would, never would you that. hold hands in front of your parents dude no 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 pda no, no touch that would make me so uncomfortable in front of my parents uh-huh yeah uh-huh. sounds like you're married to your parents still not married to yeah, your yeah, wife yeah yeah what are you yeah you're picking the wrong team there Damn, dude. I can't believe I never had a Mac list. Did you guys ever have a list? I'm like racking my brain right now so I can make it when after this. Yeah. And blog it. Mac it. Do you um, have it? You bro, have it. This would have been four or five laptops ago. I don't I don't know. I don't even know if I had a laptop. It's on the laptop. So you were posting up at the desk. Yeah. You, <laughs> dude, <laughs> dude, <laughs> dude, laptop is laptop crack, is wild. Crack in the the lamp on. All right. <laughs> I would be just, adding them to the list up a cup of as coffee. we were making them out. I'd have the computer behind them, and I'd be I'd be making Mac and oh and, yeah, and then doing it. Let me add you to my list. <laughs> That's like some fucking Army Hammer shit with the stamp or the right. brand. Yeah, easy, well, no, it's easy. Not. It's oh, not yeah, that a, bad. That's a friend. He was watching. He watched you kiss at your wedding. Didn't I not? always thought Army he was a Hammer friend. Got a bad rap. Was he a friend? He's a friend. He considers no. him a friend. He's a friend. Uh, he's a mentor. <laughs> <laughs> and I mentor the hammer inspirational the ham man but glennie has a glennie <laughs> don't believe what you hear about the ham guy <laughs> ham dog <laughs> hammer what's up you fuck <laughs> bro why you got fucking blood all over your face <laughs> <laughs> ribs <laughs> hammer loves his ribs army dude my buddy hammer this sick son of a bitch ate a girl the other night <laughs> dude no any of your boys ever <laughs> eat a chick no no way dude, legend I'm talking like the ultimate freak this dude is so <laughs> freaky and bad every girl wants to fuck him <laughs> every girl's trying to get eaten to death by him left my girl with him for an hour came back she was missing a limb dude yeah he was, he was picking <laughs> his teeth <laughs> with her finger he was gnawing with her ulna oh man that was pretty crazy yeah he was doing that but i also feel like it didn't get enough attention they made a documentary about it on hbo and it's pretty bad it's pretty boring oh but apparently his like his whole family is like deviants like going down the food like down the line his grandparents great-grandparents all like crazy bad people but like cannibal like probably murderers so you think that started from him being great in bed though yeah he's yeah. got to be a great lay because then it's probably just you get us to a certain point where you're like i don't have any i don't even know what else to do i guess i'll eat yeah you. and he's the thing is like he, he probably thought he could do no wrong yeah because he was so good at fucking exactly he has to be What's just stu- an absolute if the sex is that good you probably stabbing. don't hate little chewing <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, if man. You're like, holy shit, this feels so good, and then you feel him just nibbling on the elbow a little Price bit. You like, all, right, yeah, happened, happened. all right, you can do that. Well, I don't my even, weenus. As long as you don't break the skin, I don't feel any taste. He, but he was breaking skin though. It, well, then he got to a point where he was, he was breaking taking skin. his pound of flesh. Yeah. What was the? Wasn't it that he the asked, DMs asked were them insane. if he could, or that he actually did? He could. he like DM'd a girl, and he was like, he was like. I killed a deer the other day and felt its heart beating in my hands. 
I'm a f- I want to fucking eat you. And then he was like, at one point he was like, I'm a full on cannibal. <laughs> yeah, full on <laughs> cannibal. Yeah. And then he was like, holy, f-. it was like the same tone as those Adam Levine texts. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. like, he I've never off. told that to anybody before. He's beating off as, Fuck, as that he's feels so good to say. Yeah. That's like your dick is hard in your hands while you're typing that with one hand. I'm a full on cannibal. <laughs> and then you come and you're like, "What did I say?" Oh, <laughs> a cannibal. What the fuck did I just do? <laughs> oh my god, oh. dude, that clarity has to be insane. <laughs> Looking up dude, on Reddit, imagine that. Can you like... delete messages on an Instagram? DM? Dude, imagine the post not clarity when you actually do eat her. And you're like, oh yeah, eating her, and then you yeah. bust. <laughs> Ah, oh. <laughs> I need to brush my teeth. Wow. What the fuck did I just do? <laughs> looking at the looking at the packet of blue chews next to you. Yeah. Two was too many. <laughs> <laughs> it was so hard. I had, you OD on blue eater. chews and you turn into a cannibal. <laughs> You ever, uh, have you ever, what was the most recent what the fuck did I just do moment that you had in your life? It's usually if I get pretty fucked up, I wake up the next morning and I'm like, I fucking hate myself. You ever, you never had, you oh, ever, probably at Skank Fest. It was probably something at Skank Fest. When you had your penis pulled no, out. Probably when I had my crowd. penis pulled out. That wasn't you that did it. No. But you just kind of rolled with the punches. Yeah. Instead of showing any what shame. Would you put the odds of that video surfacing? None. Mm-hmm. Considering how little people have brought it up. Yeah. Like no one gives a fuck about it. Uh, some people are, are still. Even if it did surface, I wouldn't be like, I'd be like, that's annoying, but I wouldn't like freak out. No, you get a text from blocks. Nate, are you going to blog this? Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's blog this now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hmm. Pray your dick, you must have been having a good dick day if you're not that worried. No, I think I just don't care yeah. about my dick. But you care about things like people knowing how off what you eat for lunch or your parents seeing you kiss. Yeah, he's yeah. worried about farting on a live stream. But yeah. he care Obviously, I would rather be on the live stream than have a video of my penis be on the internet. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. You're, would yeah. you rather yeah. have That's so weird. 100% would rather have dick than stomach. That was my first thought when I saw the video. I was like, oh, thank God it wasn't my stomach. <laughs> it was just my little what? tiny dick. Yeah. You don't want your stomach online? No. Why not? I hate it. Is I it... grab it every single day and I go. I try to rip it off. Yeah. <laughs> Scissors. I need I army. What? I didn't know that about you. I'm sorry to hear that. No, it's not a big problem. It's there a, is a, if you're there, grabbing it and screaming <laughs> in the mirror alone, so based huge, on your testimony, that's an enormous like a problem. Yeah. Being a slender man with that issue, <gasps> about the... yeah, I hate me. It's not a big problem. It's a big problem. No, I mean, nothing. right now we're going into the fall, the winter. You don't even think about it. You got your two shirts plus your jacket. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you keep on pulling the jacket over. Yeah, exactly. Fucking <laughs> more comfortable than I've been in the last four months. <laughs> <laughs> You got to go on another vacation. I know. I got to go to Patagonia or Japan. That's the only way I'm going to hit gold. <laughs> Going to Japan <laughs> to hit gold is insane. And being pissed that you're there. Yeah. If you bought a first class ticket, those first class tickets to Japan are $12,000. For business yeah, class, worth Del- Delta One to Japan to Kyoto or uh, Tokyo is twelve grand. That's so crazy. Just, so just do that. But I don't need. I've already hit the money. We've talked about this. Yeah, but I think you'd get so many MQ MQMs. It's so crazy. So I never. Oh, yeah. It's but, just uh, a but, constant but, uh, repeat of this. You thing. bring it back up. It's you to because bringing it up. You lie to me, and you. And you I you don't lie. I, things, and then today you finally confess, and you're like, "Well, I spent a lot." I, of money I don't think I've call. I've I've told you any other story than that. I said that if you had gotten the credit card earlier in the year and you'd spent more money on it, then you what might. What were you have, saying? You wanted. Yeah, to but save how's Roan Diamond? How's Roan Diamond? Where you say that there was something we were talking about? I oh yeah, to save this. This debate was another about... debate that we got into last night. Cause... Stand, great hang. Oh, it was a good. All hang. time, <laughs> one of the best. This hang is all time They've fucking hang. Do you guys best. like each other? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All time hang. All time hang, and we're gonna run it back tonight. They yeah, were running it back tonight. For what it's worth, we always text each other. Are you going to the stand tonight? And when he is, I get much happier. That's yeah, because you know it's going to be a good hang. That's yeah, a good hang. Yeah. So what constitutes an all-time hang. 
It depends on the crew. Crew. Yeah. No scrubs. Laughing, no scrubs. Stories. Only yeah. killers. I mean, only just. Who are some murders. of the killers though that are in your, your guys like? <laughs> only murderers. <laughs> I don't care how cool you are off stage if you're not leveling in the room. You're not at the table. How'd you do last night? Terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. Uh, he came off stage and he awful. goes, that's the worst crowd I've ever had. Literally the worst crowd I think I've ever performed. <laughs> awful. Yeah. And then I went and I did my show. I mean, come on now. Dynamite. 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 <laughs> hot, hot <laughs> show. And then I came back. I did one at the stand. Was fine. Did my show. Fucking lights out. No survivors. Came back. Back to the stand. I was like, let's polish off the night with a hot one. Got off stage and I was like, oh my god. I was literally on stage, like. <laughs> yeah, anyway, the, 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 the GM anyways, came in the and GM saw, watched him, what he was bopping. and watched, and I was like, <laughs> and they all have a group chat. All the GMs and the managers and the GM and then the booker all have a group chat at the end of the night, and they confer. Good hands, oh, oh, yeah. good hands. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh my God. That was a really good catch. <laughs> that was such a better catch than you guys are aware because he was not. You're over complimenting him. You're no. making him feel. <laughs> I mean, truly. He never does anything right. That was such a good. That's oh an expensive God. camera. That was such a good set. And uh, yeah. from all people, you. Yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. How did you? You fine. You know what? Let's chat. just all be assholes to each other. <laughs> Let's, Let's give up. No, on but the... I want to hear the GM yeah, group chat. Yeah. They no, all no, are on a not, chat. It wasn't a problem. It was a, everyone bombed. And at the, the end show. of the night, they will say like who did well and who didn't. Oh, that's horrible. That's not true. It's definitely like a makeout list. It's like Dallas told me that. That's true. Stock up. Francis, uh, all yeah. the other people. Do they have an AP poll? I don't know. They definitely, they definitely are aware at the end of the night of who like is doing well and who's not. Stock down, little Sasquatch. No, my stock does not go down. They wouldn't even <laughs> let you sit at the table last night. I heard. No, I was running the table last. I night. heard you were riffing from a table away because you <laughs> fucking. They, I, you, the GM. I heard you were doing it. I heard you were doing a delayed laugh from the yeah, table like, far like, away. The GM probably te- sent a text to the booker and was like, his. On 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 stage, not great. Off show, made up for it. <laughs> Table work was absurdly. Wait, good I last got night. Hank back. What were we asking Hank? Oh, about the twenty-four hour stream. Hank, uh, yo, I got where you're. Lots of tape. All that. L to T. Uh, I got a little sass here. Hang on. Hank, talk to me, Goose. How are we doing, Sassy? Um, so KB and Nick are, are explaining to us the uh, the 24 hour live stream that you guys are gonna have in the new office. Yeah. What is this? Is this like a like a like a fish tank type thing? Like you guys are just gonna be like you're gonna be on camera 24 hours a day? Yeah, it's a punishment. So it's basically it's me and Max in solitary confinement. I picture it's gonna be like a a box with white walls type situation. Oh, so it's not the whole office. No, I thought the upstairs like floor was uh, always going to be live. Nick said he thought the upstairs do- floor was going to always be live. Oh, in the are you talking about the the punishment stream or just the general office? The general office. Yeah, the, there's like a content like similar to where there's a content area in our office. Like we're just gonna, it's got like security. Like we'll have cameras rolling and like be able to get that footage whenever we want. Like somewhere somewhere oh, but it's not going to be it's not going to be live. No. Oh, no. I thought it was going to be oh, live. Okay. 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 There we go. That makes yeah. more sense. Like office yeah, capture. That would, be, that would be crazy. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. All right. See That's about the parts. Farts. The farts. Well, it doesn't sound like the farts are going to be an issue anymore. Unless they want to pull farts from the tape. <laughs> <laughs> pull the tapes. <laughs> Tell me you got that. <laughs> pull the fucking tapes. 236. Chief had a juicy one. The, the argument that we got into last night was that I brought up the Jewel documentary. And Richard Jewel, Richard Jewel, um, or the the folk singer with the snaggle tooth. The yo, my hands are small. I know, like but that. they're not yours. She's Alaskan, they are no? my own. Yes, yeah. she's from so Homer, Mario Alaska. Chalmers. Really? Yeah. yeah. She best. was the early act at Woodstock '99, where everyone was like, "Actually, this music festival is going to go well," mm. and then it all fell off from there. Does she yodel? My hands are small. Just about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the song I like. Yours, they yeah. are my <laughs> home in there. 
that the documentary. Got my no, we were talking about the Jewel documentary. Too. Pretty much what was going on was I'm Francis was saying that Sarah. they were putting vitamin E in jewels and people were dying. And I was no, telling wait, him, whoa, no, whoa, whoa, you in, better, in you better get that right. And I was saying that people put the, the vitamin E, the reason people were dying from it was from those fake weed carts that people were buying yeah, i was saying they the were ones that they would were have making, like obama on the cover of it and it would be like obama blast they were making fake black market jewel pods but it wasn't jewel pods he says it was only the weed it and was I only said it was it was weed but it was also the fake jewel pods which no. were compatible well, with did jewel did you watch the documentary no but i lived through it <laughs> exactly thank you i lived and we through argued it. about this you before. lived through because i remember when that shut you and it was just me no no you guys feel free to hop I've in because this learned. he's wrong because I remember when that happened, when the first person died from the it's, weed one. This is always anecdotal a, evidence. They sent out a yes, massive email at my school weird. being like, people are dying from vaping now. And then it was like, oh, shit, really? And then you looked it up and it was like, oh, because this kid bought a fucking cart from some, like, random stranger in, like, Nebraska or something. But did you, and, and you, you knew weed. that was THC weed carts? Yes. Okay, but it was also... Jewel carts, no. but not made by Jewel. No. Oh, no. God damn you, that man. Just happen. God damn you. <laughs> Both no. of them. No, there's just no way. No, he lived we are through the correct. whole time period. He we was conscious. Because he is saying there's no way. We're wrong. He's saying no, not your thing happened. It was just weed. And I'm saying it, it might have been weed. It might have been weed jewel pods. It might have been like – because I know they made those for a Bro, little bit. Bro, it was they had, nicotine. They had, they had weed. Like, Non-THC cards, they were the pods that had the vitamin E acetate the in them that would go into a dual thing oh, and then fuck kids up. explaining what the rest of the E stands for now. No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, you did. You said the whole thing. Vitamin E acetate? Yeah, just call it vitamin E. Okay. My point being – Whatever, you're right. We've what the hell is going on over here? here? What the hell are you guys doing? We We're lost them with this. Googling. This is you and yeah, me. I'm trying just... to get to the bottom of it. No, that was not a Google. That was a text. <laughs> Burrowing in. I proved Thank it. You. I did this to him last night, and he still wouldn't. He still wouldn't acknowledge. Sass, but one of oh, his sass is right. at his school. Yeah, Sass is right. Yeah, third result on Google. So just the the weed carts that say Obama. It just on yeah, it. just the Obama. Those were the only ones that killed people. <laughs> <laughs> that was the example yeah. that I was using. Yeah, Obama because it was always some weird the fucking only fatal uh, vapes for the Obama, Obama and Duxbury. Obama Dude, that's what it was. <laughs> Laugh it up. I don't know how you can have such a strong. Uh, it's very opinion easy. Opinion it's very easy when it's when you're not. How? That's just how I operate, dude. It's pretty simple. <laughs> And then people are like, Sass just talks out of his ass. It's like, yeah, that's exactly what I do, <laughs> is talk out of my ass. I don't really think with this podcast I need to be coming in here being like with the facts. The, right? If there's some, if we there's some misinformation. We were podcast last night. We were talking off. And off it fucking microphone. doesn't need to bring facts to that either. You don't need to bring facts to the table, bro. Mm -hmm. We're trying to riff. I'm at one of the best hangs I've been at in months. So it was an all-time hang all leading time up hang, to this All-time hang, Francis and me get into a bickering match. Everyone goes home. Oh, so that's, that's not, what ended it. It, it, the, the hang yeah. comes to a rapid end. <laughs> who else was that? Who else was there? Dude, killers. Wow. It was Lev. Stone cold killers. Um, who else was there? Lev. Joe List. Joe List. Gio Perez. Gio Perez. Me. Killer. Well, yeah, that's a given. <laughs> <laughs> no need to tell them that. Uh, Francis. Oh, what's your, um, Gabby Brian. Gabby Brian, and then uh. Wasn't was it Sydney Washington was there for a Sydney bit? Washington? Oh, yeah. I mean, dude, murderers row. <laughs> <laughs> and so you were, and you were, you said you were running the table. You were the of king of the court. I'm always running the table. I sit down. I try, I'm like, guys. I'm like, guys, I'm like, I'm like, guys. Let me sit down by myself, and then a crowd gathers around me. Like Jesus, like spread disciples. some wisdom. Yeah, yeah. They sit talk to him. <laughs> they go talk to him. Do you regale people with stories or just no? Like, I don't. I, I sit there. That their facts are I wrong. sit there by myself and I chime in every like thirty minutes. That's not true. And then I go, "This is fucking." Fun. I would argue you did lead that. Well, that was because it was. Thing. I mean, it was all of our friends. But typically, when it's all those big guys, no, I don't talk at all. Mm -hmm. Sit my ass down and listen. Mm -hmm. Hope you can learn <laughs> for something. once. Yeah. Be a sponge. For once, as a white cis male, it's time for me to sit my ass down and fucking. You had your time listen. To <laughs> <laughs> it was fun though. I was happy to be back at the stand. I've been there like a month. All right, good show. Yeah, we're good gonna show. end it there. <laughs> Having a fucking good time. I thought I this was too. like an all-time hang. This was a good hang. hang. This is like up there with last Wait, night. Wait, for real? Are we all killers? 
this is fucking yeah. All right. Yeah, for real. I guess yeah. All right, that's but like bar stool killers. No, we're bar stool killers. Okay. You're not. <laughs> we killer, should make killers. a fucking yeah. That's that should be the name of this podcast. Bar stool killers. The bar stool killers. <laughs> that's Stone a good idea. Bar stool killers. Yeah. What's like our initiation if we want to have somebody on as a killer? Show us that you kill. Show us that you kill. Show us that you kill. Up for thirty seconds. Yeah, fight back. All five of us. Show us that you know how to fucking. Kill. Yeah, name beat cereals until we beat the fuck out of you. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever seen them have to do that during gang initiations? That was that, that was a thing growing up. Name ten cereals. And well, name ten cereals, and then they just the like menace. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I feel like if I knew that were coming, you I prepare. would memorize. But then they could switch it up. They'd be like, name ten Jewish baseball game? players. Ooh, Ooh. Mm-hmm. it's tough. Koufax, Sandy Koufax, Sean Green. Paul Goldschmidt, Schmidt. Fiedler, Jay Fiedler. That's Jay a football. Fiedler, Fiedler on the roof. Oh, he's a football. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see that, and that you're just getting beat up for yeah, a long. Yeah, when you're yeah. punched in the bicep, it hurts, and you can't. Your mind goes haywire. Yeah, true. you can't think of a serial. True. You can't think of Captain Crunch. But they're trying to prepare. You always for... forget Captain Crunch. You forget like the non-colorfuls. There would always be like a kid in high school who you'd see who would always just be getting handsy. That always pissed me off. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You'd just be walking down the hallway and you just punch you in the bicep. Oh, I hated like, that. Looking yeah. down into that. Yeah, hated like, what that the fuck, kid. dude? They're closeted kids. There was yeah. a closeted mm-hmm. kid in my school who always used to make us run offensive line drills on him. Really? He'd be like, like, see if you can get past me. Like, run the play clock, and you'd have to like line up in a three three point stance and like try and like get, like swim moves. Then it turned out later that in uh, college he was uh, cheating on his girlfriend with a guy. That's that's yeah. like Travis Kelsey, Travis, honestly. Travis Kelsey, yeah. Have you guys heard about this? No. Yeah. Wait, what? A kid that went to my high school uh, that's like a diff- different football player was a D2 coach. Um, he used to fuck Travis Kelsey. <laughs> Bruh. Fuck. Bruh. Bruh. Come on, he's all we had. <laughs> Tra- Travis? Our Travis? Uh, no, our Travis. <laughs> Certainly not. Travis? Our Travis. <laughs> our Travis. Wait, that, r- really? And he would fuck the Who was fucking, fucking Tra- lights out of that guy. This kid. Travis was fucking. No. Oh, no. What Travis was, going was catching, on? brother. How do you think he's got such good hands? (laughs) (laughs) Travis was throwing laterals here and there, but he was catching mostly. I don't believe that, to be honest. No, he's a tight end for sure. (laughs) Uh, Not after that. (laughs) Oh, man. Zing. I'm racking my brain for football references. Fuck. Did you guys get my lateral joke? Because he's always throwing those laterals, and his coach said that you're not allowed to do that anymore. Yeah, but what would a lateral be sexually? Is yeah, that a reach, that reach back sexually. and cupping of the balls? You could have got away with it, honestly. Yeah, you shouldn't have yeah, brought it back. I thought it was a good joke. Maybe uh, he turns around and starts fucking the dude for a second. That would be a reverse. That would be a reverse? Yeah. Or, or, like, a, like, you're or throwing a... and catching. <laughs> like in gay sex, you're typically you're throwing and catching. Yeah, right. So he's catching typically, but sometimes he's don't, throwing it, a lateral. Don't explain, oh, of right. all things, don't explain gay That's sex. Come on. Nobody knows gay sex like my boy Nick. Reputation precedes me. <laughs> I'm the straightest expert in gay sex. <laughs> the foremost expert. Yeah. My boy Nick. I mean, talk about straight as they come. Educated, but he <laughs> he knows his gay sex. Dude, what's your gay sex IQ? <laughs> you Fuck take an online quiz. I took an online room. quiz. On Wonder Lick was a fifty. <laughs> I got a, a twenty three hundred in my gay sex S- SAT. I'm not like uh like school smart or street smart. I'm gay sex smart. I'm gay sex smart. I I know everything. You know all the terminology. Uh, yeah, I remember when I found like out what... I could embarrass you right now yeah. if I wanted to. Oh, easily. Like a uh, Matt Damon in Good Run Will it Hunting. Up on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're just reciting. <laughs> <laughs> so what's a mother superior? You said you know what a mother superior is. You know how you know uh, next year you're going to be telling me viral load. <laughs> next year you're going to be telling me that uh, reverse cowboy is your favorite position, and then you go on from there to say that the rusty you Ramon. Your boyfriend? You're going to no. tell me about mask and fem verse. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I read that too. Playgirl, 1982. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking, uh, you know how. Uh, you know how Beethoven could always just <laughs> how Beethoven said he could always just play. That's what, that's how it was with gay sex for me. I could always just play. It just made play. sense. It just made sense. Just made sense. Yeah. I don't know how to explain it. What do you it. see when you see a piano? <laughs> it's a box and a bunch of keys, right? You've seen photos of gay sex, but have you ever smelled a man's dick after fucking? 
I see an asshole, I could just play. Do you know how easy this shit is for me? Do you know how much of a fucking joke this shit is for me? I come in here every fucking day and I watch you fumble around with these pictures of guys fucking each other. He's a good boy. He's a smart boy. I'm not going to let him do to you what you did to me. A lot of that stuff goes way back between me and him. Every day I hope to come to your house to fuck your ass and you're not there. <laughs> If 20 years from now I come here and you're still watching guys fuck each other, <laughs> I will, I'll, I'll kill you myself. <laughs> I thought that's how it was always going to be. I thought me, <laughs> you know, we'd have houses across from each other. We'd fuck each other in the ass. We'd take our kids to the Little League games. They'd fuck each other in the ass. <laughs> I want to be an ass fucker. There's honor in that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, should we end on that? Uh, dude, I can solve the most complex gay positions. <laughs> you catch me on a run. Why would you do it and walk away? <laughs> <laughs> the most prestigious gay institution. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys for listening. That was a fun time. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. All right. See you guys uh, Monday. Adios.